Okay, real talk real quick. This guy, I think, has a llama in the back of his truck bed. It's either a llama or, okay, it might be a goat. There's no way a llama can fit back there. That's a goat for sure. That is a goat. There's a goat in the back of this truck right now. Check that out. This is vlog number two, I guess. Have you guys ever seen that video of, so there's a video of a crow that I saw on YouTube and do you guys know that crows can mimic sounds? And it's like insane. It's not like a parrot. It's like, it sounds like a, like a recording device. Like a, watch this video, check this out. Who took a bird? Who took a bird? Who took a bird? Say hello. Hey, hello. 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 How are you? How are you? Oh. How are you? Isn't that insane? Anyways, uh, so right now I am heading down to Price, Utah to uh, shoot a drumline video that we've been working on over the past couple months. And uh, basically I, I wanted to go into some more information about kind of what I'm doing right now and kind of like my mindset on going into this this project so so pretty much I'll start from the beginning so my cousin Brandy she hit me up saying she uh, wanted me to help with some video projects for their college she's a dance coach there she's been doing dance I think like her whole life she kills it um, but she hit me up and she says or she has a dance idea and uh, she's like I'd love if we could work on it together and um, make something cool and at first when she approached me with that you know I was kind of like uh you know I've never shot dance before I've never been in an environment with dance really so it was weird it was kind of a something that I'd never been approached with before and so um, like naturally my my first reaction is like I don't want to do that because it's uncomfortable you know but I kind of thought about it and as time kind of went along uh, you know Brandy re reached out to me again saying hey it's coming up I'd love to you know work with you on it again and at this time I finally had some jobs that were kind of popping up so I, my schedule was a little bit crazy and so in my mind I'm like well you know I could do this or I could not do it and so I can focus on my other projects and I started kind of giving myself excuses on why I don't want to do it you know why why I don't need to do it because I have you know jobs I'm working on blah 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 but then I kind of thought about it and I'm like you know this is only gonna help me and it's gonna you know take me out of that comfort zone which I need to do you know it's, the biggest thing is pushing yourself out of your comfort zones um, so that you are progressing in whatever that you're doing so I decided like let's do it like let's let's start planning this thing she was like this is the, my idea that I'm thinking I want to shoot it in a desert area, something that's really cool. And I was like, okay, this is kind of like, this is up my alley. Like I, I shoot, you know, landscapes in the desert. I'm always out in the desert. You know, as I got closer, I started, started researching dance videos and like music videos. And I kind of realized like, I don't have a, like any type of stabilizer for this. And it was about maybe a week away. And I was like, crap, like I don't have money to buy a stabilizer right now. But I'm like, I know a stabilizer is going to make this video. I knew it was going to be, you know, something that would, have a big effect on the video but unfortunately I didn't have the money to do it so I had to shoot the whole thing handheld which you know as a videographer anybody that shoots video knows that's like not something you're stoked on if you're gonna be moving around a lot and like normally if you're shooting with like slow motion it's pretty easy to do um, because you can kind of compensate for like the wiggles of your camera because it's in slow motion but we went into this and I was like you know what I think I can still do it I can slow it down a little bit if I need to or I can use like warp stabilizer if I need to and so yeah we, we went for it and we went out to the desert and we shot in some spots that she had in mind and you know, it started turning out better than I was thinking. You know, I was feeling more and more comfortable with it. I'd met the whole team. And they were all passionate about it. They're all really excited to be out there. Yeah, we just, you know, we shot all day and pretty much from like 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. or whatever. And then going back home, you know, I was not gonna lie, I was kind of afraid to go through the footage because I'm like, I'm gonna start seeing the errors that I made, which, you know, is gonna make, give me a knot in my stomach or whatever. But obviously I had to jump in and start editing it because we had to get it done. And so I start editing it and, you know, shots are actually kind of looking okay. They're a little bit, you know, shaky, but nothing that the warp stabilizer couldn't handle. And I was actually pretty surprised with myself uh, that I was able to accomplish that. 
uh, with just handheld. And so we get the video done, finalize it, and everything's good, and we're both stoked on it. And uh, then we, uh, you know, present it to their to their school, and everybody was really excited about it. So fast forward now, I just finished another kind of a promotional video for that same dance team. So we just did two videos, and then this is the third one that I've been working on, which is for their drum line. And I shot it about a month ago. I shot the the piece. And, you know, going into it, same with the dance, I wasn't sure how to, you know, shoot a drumline video. I've never done that before, and I've never really thought about it much. And, I, you know, I watched as many videos as I could to kind of get, my, get a good understanding of it. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things you really, you don't know what you're going to be um, challenged with until you push yourself in that situation. Um, and then, you know, because of that, you learn, you know. You, the biggest thing within this business and any business or anything that you go after is you have to be able to constantly learn and progress in what you're doing. And the only way to do that is pushing yourself out of your comfort zones. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, that was a mouthful, I know. But um, yeah, we're doing that today. So I'm heading there right now. We're about 45 minutes out. And yeah, I don't know. I might be bringing my camera in there or this camera in to show you guys kind of behind the scenes or I might just leave it here or leave it in the bag so I can kind of focus on the project. But yeah, that's kind of my two cents on that. It's like always, you know, always put in that 110% and everything you're doing because in the long run it will come back to you for the positive. Um, what else? What else can I talk about? You know, another thing that's kind of worth mentioning is like as I've grown with my photography and videography, I never really thought that I would do jobs like this, you know? And you have to be very open to doing jobs like this because you have to survive, you know? You have to make money on the jobs that lead up to whatever you are reaching for. Um, you know, my long-term goals with this stuff is just to create a following around what I'm doing with my life. I wanna document my life more. I want to go on more adventures. I wanna put more energy and more effort into my videos and my photos. It's just kind of, it's funny, cause I never, you know, I never imagined that I would be doing a dance video, you know? But I turned, as it turns out, it was actually really fun. I, I learned a ton when it came to like a technical, uh, like camera and like equipment side. And then I also learned a ton about just dancing. Cause like, if you've, if you've never danced before, that stuff looks hard. It's like a workout, it's some gnarly stuff. And so being able to watch these girls do the same, the same routine over and over again, it's really eye-opening to see how hard these people are working um, in their in their field. You know, I mean, you just gotta, you know, if, if jobs come up, even if you don't, you're not like 100% on board with them at first, just you know, lock in with them. Because it's like now, I feel super confident if someone reached out to me and says, "Hey, I want to shoot a music video. Do you have the equipment or do you have the knowledge on that?" And I'm like, 100%. I feel confident doing it. You know, um, but I'm gonna put the camera down and drive. Check back in in a little bit. Okay, guys, we have made it to the university. I was actually hoping that some of their grass would be a little bit greener, and it looks like it is. Um, on certain spots, look right there. So I'm actually gonna reshoot some drone shots probably here if I get out early enough. So here's their athletic center. Give a park here and then head on in. I will definitely be throwing in a bunch of footage for you guys to look at and kind of get some perspective. Pretty much like what we did last time. in the line. Yeah. Alrighty, that is a wrap, folks. Shoot went well, we had an awesome time, super fun. Got all the shots that I was hoping for. 
I'm pretty confident that the uh, audio sounds good. I listened to it before we left and I checked some of the shots, make sure they were crisp. But yeah, everything went great. It was really fun. We had a fun time. As you can tell, I tested out my drum abilities. Turns out I am the best drummer of all time. I'm terrible, I'm very, very bad. So I respect people that can do it because that's some hard work. Oh, that's bright. That's real bright. But yeah, it was super fun, good time. Uh, and, and this is, you know, the best example I can share is push yourself to get out of your comfort zone and whatever it is, it can be the smallest thing possible. You just have to make sure you continue it. You know, you gotta keep doing it, keep pushing yourself to get out of those comfort zones and you'll do fun things. It's just, you know, it's a blast. And there's plenty of times that I feel uncomfortable or like a little awkward because it's, you know, it's not in my element, but now I feel more confident because I was in that element. You know, like the more you do it, the better you get at it. So it's about 7.30 right now. I'm gonna go home and edit, try to get some of this done tonight. And then tomorrow we are heading to Goblin Valley, heading out to the desert. And we head to Thailand in two weeks. So it's crazy. Things are, things are happening fast. But yeah, I hope you guys gained something from this. Uh, even if it's something really small or just a sliver of information, it's a mission accomplished for me. So uh, make sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed this. It helps the channel grow. And feel free to subscribe if you guys like this content. Um, I'm gonna continue doing this for every job that I get and every project I work on. Uh, so just a little bit more transparency for you guys to you know, follow the path of what I'm doing. You know, the coolest thing about doing this stuff is not only am I documenting this for myself, because, you know, five years down the line, I'm gonna wish that I would have recorded this stuff uh, because it's important. You know, you need to document your journey and so you can see the growth that you have and it'll continue to push you. But I also, I want to document it in a way that will help you guys if you are starting off with photography or videography. Because um, I know I was always watching my favorite photographers or videographers and it was always so secret because everybody's afraid of competition. Everyone's afraid of somebody getting ahead of them if they share too much information. Um, but in my mind, I think it's silly and I think the more information I can share for you guys, the better and the more the more we all win, which is where I'm gonna leave it off tonight. Like I said, make sure to like the video because it helps the, the uh, channel grow. And make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy this content. I'm gonna keep putting it out. Also, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section because I always answer those and I wanna make sure that you guys are getting as much information as you can. Class is now in session. See you guys on the next video. Peace.